the first joint Russian and American space mission. Well, the prime purpose of the Apollo-Soyuz joint mission is to prove out a uh, compatible docking system and demonstrate that we have compatible operational procedures that will let two different countries dock in Spain. I think more than that, it has a, certainly a symbolic meaning of these two large powers uh, learning to work together in space, which I believe are the new seas of mankind, the new frontiers, and work out solutions to problems wherein, uh, although we're very competitive, uh, we can still be cooperative and assist each other. And I think that this Apollo Soyuz program stands for just that. Oh, what a nice day. Oh, funny there's not a cloud in the sky, except in the Earth. Think that'll stop the dust, that one? They would have one task before they got to work exploring. The previous day, they had broken a rear fender of the rover. The dust thrown up was causing trouble. Apollo 16 commander John Young had worked that night in a pressure suit on a way to fix the fender. Oh, okay. On the moon, the astronauts put it together. The fender section formed from a lunar map molded with tape, then held in place with clamps from the lunar module telescope. It was a repair that would last the remainder of the mission. Then Schmidt moved out to place one of several explosive packages which would be detonated after they left the moon, mapping the lunar subsurface, much as earthly geologists explore for oil. Cernan would pick him up in the rover for the drive to the first site on this traverse, Station 2. They're somewhere along this rim where they can see. But they're, but they're dropping, Bill, so they must be coming across that we're right where we wanted to be for station two and it looks like a great place big blocks it looks like quite a bit of variety from here different colors anyway pretty hard isn't it that boat is going to roll man that is hard <laughs> just don't stub your toe The foreground features are somewhat different, simply because they were farther up onto the hill, I think. But that's, otherwise, that's remarkable. Pottery, it's obviously very, uh, very cohesive because it's, it's, uh, the bottom of the core is not smooth. It's very jaggedy and fragmental-like. Gene's finished with the, uh, the uh, core tube. Then we should be able to go. If we get that done. Jack Schmidt having a few problems. They would sample several locations on this EBA, but none would cause more excitement than the find of the crater called Shorty. They had to leave Shorty Crater and its orange soil and push on. Time, the enemy of the lunar investigator on the moon and on Earth. I can't believe we sampled the whole 
<laughs> the precious minutes had run out. Return to the rover, drive back to the Challenger, close out EVA 2. We'd like you to leave immediately. Okay. My golly, this time goes fast. As the last Apollo crew worked on the moon, the engineers on Earth prepared for tomorrow's day in space. Uh, I have a model here of the space shuttle. As you see, it uh, resembles a Delawing airplane on top of a uh, propulsion system. system is going to be designed so all of the costly parts are reusable. Uh, now that we're beginning to understand space, we're beginning to understand uh, the potential, the economic potential. The need is to bring larger arrays of instrumentation up in space. The need to provide man with a real capability to work up in space. Okay, Bob, I'm on the pad. And it's about 4.30, a Wednesday afternoon, as I step out onto the plains of Taurus Littrell. Beautiful valley. December 13th. Yesterday, they had explored the south end of the valley. Today, they would go north. Yeah, well, let's ask for an extension. Hey, Jim, this is the last time for you to really go to bat for us, Jim. We know you'll do it for us. Send an extension for that out, Yeah. Holy smoly! <laughs> Why are we on a slope? You okay? Man, that's rough country in there, isn't it? Well, you're looking across Henry. Yeah. Apollo science will continue, and I'm sure you might say the mysteries uh, will continue to come out for many years to come. But of this I'm sure, a man has learned that space is his to explore, and man will return to space to explore, to the moon and beyond. I'm firmly convinced that it's changed the whole basis of philosophy, including religion. I don't think that we've begun to see uh, what the era of spaceflight really is. It, uh, we've got a long way to go, and I hope I'm living when we leave this solar system on a venture to find another planet Earth. Once more it was time. Gene Cernan and Jack Schmidt returned to the rover to drive back to Challenger. But before they left the surface of the moon, there would be a brief ceremony. It's a rock composed of many fragments of many sizes and many shapes. When we return this rock, or some of the others like it to Houston, We'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol.